Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see about uh, bar plots using our software along with uh, displaying the significant letter uh, on top of the bar plot. And this video, this video is uh, based on the question of my follower and this question is how to display a significant letter in the top of a bar plot for alpha lattice design uh, for different uh, locations. So I think this question is uh, for um, over location analysis for alpha lattice design and displaying the result into a bar plot. So the first step is importing uh, the data. I already imported uh, uh, data to save our time and the data is for analysis and this name is long so let's represent this name by d so uh, d will be our um, new data name and these packages are really important for uh, computing bar plots and displaying significant level and computing some statistical analysis so uh, these are the important uh, package and let's run this one so as all of you know that the question is alpha lattice design so you may uh, alpha lattice design over location and you may expect uh, location replication block and var or the variety or genotype or whatever it is, it is your treatment uh, should be converted into a factor so the methane package is help us to compute all this factor at a time and um, here is you have to use us uh, as underscore factor then you have to specify your data name so our data name in this case is d then uh, followed by the factor or factor that you are going to convert into uh, into uh, factor using a, a factor function and before that let's see the structure of the data here is the location the replication block and uh, uh, variety name are not um, factor so you should have to change it to factor using this function so let's submit this one again let's check so they already uh, converted as you can see here the first three and here the variety name also the, or the treatment then uh, immediately go to the deployer uh, uh, package then let's clear these things then for example if you want to uh, arrange the uh, if you want to arrange your treatment you have to use it this way for example in our case our treatment is a uh, var let me show you so here is the location here is the replication here is the block and uh, here is the treatment or maybe this is a general tab uh, or whatever it is so this is a grouping uh, factor and again here is the response variable fd which stands for the response uh, variable then uh, so you have to specify here your treatment then uh, you have to change the treatment into a factor then uh, arrange in a, uh, in a manner that you want to display the treatments on the bar plot for example if you arrange like this i have 26 treatments or genotypes uh, but if i arrange like this so uh, fgat will come will be displayed in the bar plot at first then followed by this and followed by the rest of treatment so you can continue by making by adding comma then quotation then your treatment again you can continue like this but this is for if you want to reorder your genotype or your treatments then the second is uh, the value max or the maximum value of the response variable uh, especially these things help us to um, to put the significant level on the top of the maximum value of each treatment. So with the help of deployer function, here is the pipe function, sorry, with the help of deployer package and with the help of this function, we can create this one. So you can give any name that you want here, but I assigned here is a value max, then D is our data name, then group my means, um, it's, it is our uh, genotype, or it's our genotypes or it's our treatment. So then you have to specify here the maximum value. You can also change this one, whatever you want. But for simplification, uh, it indicates the maximum value of response uh, variable for each uh, genotypes or for each treatments. So this should be your response variable. Then submit this one. Then let's see our maximum value for uh, uh, each treatment. For example, for I've got 
uh, variety. Here is the maximum value for FD is 101, for underneath is 112, and for the rest you can continue like this. Moreover, uh, then you can uh, run the rest of the package here one, and you also ggplot which computes which helps to compute the uh, the bar plot. And agricole is for computing statistical analysis. Uh, especially LCD, HSD, the new comparison, whatever you want, that depends on your interest. Then, for example, if you are interested again to get the mean value, the standard deviation, standard error, the number of samples, the confidence interval, you have to use the summary SE function. And uh, you can assign any name that you want. And this thing is especially important if you want to create the uh, error bar in addition to the in the, in the top of the uh, bar plot. So here is a bar plot. Again, if you want to add the error bar, you have to use this function. Then uh, the function that helps us to compute the mean, standard deviation, standard error, number of sample, confidence interval is the summary SE. Then followed by our data name, followed by the response variable that you're going to see. So in our case, it's FD. And maybe for you is planted, or maybe for you is granule, maybe for you is whatever it is. So this is, this should be the response variable. And again, the treatment group you have to indicate. For example, sometimes you may have uh, more than two treatments in case of factorial, so you have to specify in that way. Then in our case, it's variety name, or maybe it's genotype, maybe it's treatment. So in our case, it's the, the variety name. Then let's see. Which value of standard deviation, standard error, number of sample, confidence interval, and the rest. So FD is this is the mean value for FD response variable, and this is the treatment or the genotype or the varieties. And here is the confidence interval, here is the standard error, here is the standard deviation. So these things help us to uh, compute, to add error bar on the top of the bar plot. Then uh, let's go to the uh, important part, and here is how to create a bar plot. So simply use the ggplot function and ggplot function followed by the data, followed by the treatment in the x-axis, and in y it should be the response variable, and you have to use these things for repetition. So let's run, and let's see our Bar plot. Yeah. So this is the uh, bar plot uh, generated uh, uh, from our software. But as you can see here, the FD value is sometimes is 600. Here is 400. Uh, so if these things happen to you, you have to convert uh, this data into TGC. TGC. Then let's see. Yeah, so this is the uh, good or the correct one. So this is the correct uh, bar plot. And again, uh, as you can see here, uh, it is hanging. And uh, if you are to put or if you are if you want to remove space from this uh, bar plot, uh, what you have to do is you have to use the scale y underscore continuous, then you have to say 0 to 0. That means bar plot should start from the x-axis of 0 and y-axis of 0. So let's do this one. Yeah, as you can see here, now it is improved. So to uh, change uh, the color from uh, gray into other thing, for example, if you want to change from the gray to uh, black or red, whatever you want, uh, you have to specify it like this here. Actually, this thing is uh, not work uh, is not uh, working for me. For example, if I red is not working for me, I don't know the reason behind uh, this. But um, if you are really, for example, let's let's show you. Um, no, it's not working for me. It's not red color. And um, if you know the solution, or if you have any course uh, how to solve these things, really, I 
Yeah, I appreciate I appreciate you and don't forget to share this code in my uh, email or in YouTube uh, uh, comment uh, inbox. So it's not working for me. So let's use the second option or using a manually to fill the color for each treatment or for each genotype or for each variety that I have. Assume that you have four treatment A, B, C, D. Then for A, you will designate the color like this, for B, like this, for C, like this, for D, like this. But I have 26 genotypes uh, or I have 26 varieties or 26 treatments, so I can specify it like this. So this treatment will have this uh, color and this treatment will have, will have this one and the rest. Again, the same for the rest treatment. So if I tap this one, uh, it still is not working. This thing is really not working. I don't know why. Uh, okay, let's change it instead. Let's change this one. This is depend on the number of uh, treatments that you have. For example, we have 26 treatments, so for we have 26 treatments, so we will have 26 colors. Let's show you. Yeah. So let's change manually by this way. Now it's worth it. So by this way, you can uh, give for each treatment different type of uh, color. For example, if you are interested to make to give all red colors for all treatments that you have, you can change this uh, the rest colors yellow, gray, black by red colors. This is up to you. This is up to you. If you are interested with the gray, you can continue. Or if you are interested to fill um, each genotype by different color, you can do this way. So then after, there is an important thing here is the uh, legends. So these legends are not important and you can uh, remove. You can remove this legend. For example, let us sign this one P22. P22 is equal to 2 or this one P22 then let's remove the range uh, yeah so let's remove the legend using the term and legend position then so if you say here is stop and instead of none this legend will display it here again if you say bottom this legend will be displayed here but I don't want the legend because the x-axis or the treatment by it is enough yeah, so let's run. So there is no legend. And the next thing is, for example, as you can see here, um, as you can see here, the x-axis, yeah, the x-axis uh, or the treatments are really uh, close to each other. And sometimes, if you have sub or so many uh, treatments, uh, there is. Uh, there is text overlapping. One treatment may be overlap to another. So you should have to change the angle. This is zero angle, so you should have to change into 45 degree or into 90 degree. So that's depend on your interest. Then let's say let's change into uh, 45 degree. In order to do that, P3 is this graph plus 10, then x axis dot text uh, and dot x, then 11th angle is equal to 45. Then you can change this number up to 90, 180, whatever you want. Then this one. So let's see. Yeah, it's changing from 0 to 45 degrees. Let's continue. And the main important thing is this design is alpha latest design over location analysis. Then HSD test is based on the agricole package. And here is the response variable. Before that, it is analysis of variance. And this means, this is the shaded part, is uh, the model that's suited only for alpha lattice design for overlocation analysis. If you are computing for CRD, you have to use CRD model. If you are using for RCBD, in the same way. And if you are using Latin square design, in the same fashion, you have to use or you have to put that particular model. This is for alpha lattice design for overallocation analysis. So I provide the model and here is the response variable. All the rest things will not be changed. So treatment is our treatment or our genotype or our varieties. var.name maybe for you is different. 
So write this one. Then even you can change this one. It is the mean separation method. For example, you can change into LSD, you can change into Duncan multiple entities, yeah, you can uh, change into Scott knot, whatever you want. So you can arrange or you can change your mean separation methods. But this is an example. Then even you can give any name that you want. Don't change or don't do anything over here. Then P4 means uh, this uh, this bar plot. So we are going to add the maximum value. Then in the x-axis is obviously the treatment or the, the genotype or the variety. And in the y-axis is 10 means. Uh, previously I showed you the maximum value for each variety or for each genotype. So to show these letters, that means the significant letters, 10 units plus of their what? Their maximum value. But 10 is a bit high. Let's say here is 2. So 2 units plus their maximum value show the CD, I, I, CD, uh, D, F, or the significant uh, letter. Then the size means, size is equal to 6 means to increase or decrease the size of this significant letter. If you increase to 10, it will be big. If you uh, decrease to 2, it will be less. Then the title for the bar plot. You can give any name. For example, this is my case. You can give any name. So I stand here with A. Then run. Then let's see. Let's see what it will look like. Yes. So this is two units of their maximum value. Yeah. Let's zoom in. Two unit is in this peak here. Two unit of their maximum uh, value. So the next step is to add the error bar. Yeah, to add the error bar. In order to do that, um, uh, attach uh, TGC. TGC, don't forget. TGC means the code that helps us to compute the mean, the number of sample, the confidence interval, uh, again, the standard error. So SCDF is this, this plot. Then we are going to add the error bar on the top of the bar plot in addition to the significant letter. So to do that, you have to use the geometry error bar, then axis, Y mean means uh, your error bar is based on the standard deviation. That means mean minus standard deviation. Uh, that means uh, minimum and maximum value. So the error bar is two, yeah, from the minimum to the maximum. So the minimum should be mean minus standard deviation. Then the maximum or the top of the error bar is the mean plus standard deviation. So you can get this. Uh, uh, you can get this from like this. Yeah. Let me show you. Uh, yeah, this one. TGC is this one. So, for example, for Afgat, for Afgat variety, the mean is 88.5, then the standard deviation is STD. So, 85, 88 minus 12 is, uh, what is this? Um, uh, 76. So, the minimum value is 76. And the maximum value is 100 because 8, 8 plus 12 is 100. This is the definition. So to display the inner bar, the y max, the y, the y min is uh, for the Afghat variety is what? 76. Yeah. So let's, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So 76. And the y uh, max value is 100. So the lower error bar will be displayed at the unit of at what unit at 76 and the top will be seen at 100 and for all yeah not only for the upgrade then the width of the bar you can increase whatever you want and you can increase this number even you can increase the position dot so let's see yeah so here is the uh, bar plot let's zoom in mm, yeah so 
this is the graph of the bar plot, the significant letter together with this uh, value. But some values here is not visible. Yeah. So to do that, you have to uh, decrease this one, the uh, maximum value, because this one is greater. 0 0.5 is good. And the size, let's increase this thing 10. You'll see difference. What will affect? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Still, this uh, thing, uh, these letters is hiding. Yeah. The size, I think, uh, 6 is good or 5 is good. Then let's say 0 0.2 or 0 0.1. Yeah. So, still, this thing is hide. Uh, yeah. So in order to display that one, uh, really, uh, when you save when you save this item, you can change or let's say uh, here, or you can remove these things and say like 100. Yeah. Yeah. All values will will say 100, 100 even is not good. Um, Yeah, 100 is not good. Let's say uh, 96. Yeah. Yeah, now it's better. You can get all the statistical significance level for each uh, treatment by this way. So in any case, uh, in any case, uh, the other way to mitigate the if this thing is tied over here, uh, I'll show you how to solve it. But I think the initial one is good. Let's say this is 0 0.2, then the maximum value. Then here is the inner bar. Yeah. So we stopped here. Yeah. Okay. okay. So let's see again. Yeah, so we stopped here. And uh, the other thing is um, beautification. Yeah, uh, over here, uh, as you can see here, the x axis uh, title loaded the, the treatment labels are not visible. Again, it's not visible. So we will change the color into black and also we will increase the size and we will also change the face into bold. Yeah, so to do that, A means this one, then plus 10. Axis, which is for the for the x-axis levels, and again for the uh, y-axis levels to make it bold to increase the size. Yeah. So let's run this one, and let's see. Okay, sorry. Hmm, sorry. Let's select like this. Then run. This one. So that now it's uh, very good. Then after uh, the, this is a bar dot name. If you want to change for the X and Y axis title, you have to use X lab and Y lab. Then write their name of uh, X axis and Y axis title in this way. Yeah, some product. And finally, sometimes some significant letters will really hide in the bar plot. So in order to do that, when you save your final figure, let's say you are saving A2, or let's say it's A3. A3, sorry. Let's say A3, which is equal to um, sorry, which is equal to this one. Then you should have to change to this A3, then the unit is in centimeter, and the width is, you can adjust like 30, yeah, 30 centimeter, then uh, height is like let's say 35 and the dpi is increasing quality is good yeah maybe sometimes when you increase the size 
uh, it will not it, it will text so many so much memory so it's not good let's say 1500 then the name of the bar plot is bar plot yeah this is the name of our bar plot in the form of png if you want to in png in the form of jpg you should have to write jpg yeah here and then let's run okay i expected symbol um okay and here is and okay. here is too much number that's why yeah now it's forgotten so when you should have to increase the height of your bar plot when you are uh, just saving your final figure so still is processing so uh, this is uh, all about uh, today's tutorial uh, regarding to um, uh, bar plots. Let's, let's see. Um, here is the bar plot. Yeah. So this is uh, our uh, bar plot. Um, regarding to alpha lattice design over location over location analysis displaying the significance later displaying the error uh, bar and changing and some fonts color and other elements so i'll put the code uh, uh, in the description of the comment box for your practice thank you for watching and have a nice time